Hello and welcome back to the program. Well, as promised before the break, we're now joined by representatives from Leadership Pensacola to talk about that program and the project that they have planned for this year. Every year, the Leadership Pensacola group brings a new project to the city of Pensacola or Scambia County area. And so we're going to learn what that project is for the class of 2018. And joining me to talk about that are Larry Kuhn and Megan Harrison. Thank you both so much for coming on the show today. Yes, thank you for having us. Yeah, Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Leadership Pensacola, you know, it's a great program. I know, I'm sure you guys about, what, halfway through it now are, are, are well entrenched in, in what the program is. So can y'all, uh, maybe for people at home who aren't familiar, and Larry, I'll ask you to start, uh, give me an overview of what Leadership Pensacola is and kind of what you guys do. Yeah, so I think the cool thing about LEAP is you learn all about Pensacola from military to quality of life to the government sector and everything in between. So I was born and raised here and there's stuff I didn't know about mm -hmm. the area. So that's a really cool thing. You get to have your finger in every little piece of Pensacola and learn about certain things that I didn't know about. So I, th I think that's the cool thing. And then also to get to do a class project. Another cool thing is you get to meet 50 people that I would never probably meet. Uh, being from here, there's only two or three people I knew in the class. So that's really cool. Getting to have 50 new friends is always good. Yeah, that, that, you're absolutely right. That is one of the best parts of it. And, and Megan, from your standpoint, um, you know, Larry mentioned kind of the, the learning about Pensacola. Are you from the area as well? I am born and raised. So have yes. you learned new things or yes. what are some of the things maybe that have opened your eyes that, that you didn't know about Pensacola before? I think one of the most recent days that we had, we went and looked at the emergency center mm -hmm. off of W Street and just seeing the dispatch there where they take the 911 calls and we had the canines come out and do um, mm -hmm. a show for us and the firefighters came out and showed us all their equipment. So just seeing um, the people who are in Pensacola every day protecting us um, was just eye-opening as well. What would you say, and I'll throw this to either one of you or both of you, what would y'all say is the biggest benefit of leadership in Pensacola or maybe what are you hoping to get out of the program when it's all said and done when you guys graduate later this year? I think for me is just to, to how I can get involved in the community um, with the different days that we have, like mm -hmm. Larry said, with um, we have the emergency um, people that we met and then also just to see the boards that we can get involved in with the community, the organizations, mm -hmm. um, and also the relationships um, that are long lasting. Um, you know, we can call each other up and, hey, let's go to lunch one day. Um, and you know, we're all from different um, industries, um, business industries, so I think that's one of the coolest things. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think uh, for me, it's uh, a lot. A lot of the relationships is a big thing, but learning about every little thing on every day, and mm -hmm. it just uh, broadens your horizon as a person, makes you a better worker, coworker, and uh, you know, it all around just makes you a better person. So you get to learn what other people do, and when you meet them, you kind of respect them, and yeah. you just become a better person from it all. Yeah, and I know you guys are halfway through the year, so you haven't done all your days. I was, I was in uh, leadership couple of years ago, Leadership Pensacola, and some of the days I think that y'all still have uh, coming up were, were definitely eye-opening. Uh, like y'all, you know, I was born and raised here, so it, it, it was kind of cool to learn some of those things. But I, I think one of the best parts uh, that, that people outside the program see are the projects that Leadership Pensacola does. You know, the recent ones have been the parking signs downtown. Uh, my class did the, the meters and, and the sidewalks and everything. But you guys um, ha have a, a, a kind of a different project uh, from, from the downtown area. It's kind of branched out a little bit. Uh, tell me a little bit, uh, Megan, about what Leadership in School 2018 has uh, as their class project this year. So our project is called Leap into Fitness. We partnered with um, the National Fitness Campaign in the city of Pensacola to install three outdoor fitness gyms, um, mm -hmm. one at Bayview, one at Maritime, and one at um, Legion Field. Um, and so we're hoping to get the community involved. Um, you know, fitness has just kind of taken off and we've got different gyms and different workout um, camps that um, people do. And so we're just hoping to get the community involved with our project. And Larry, what, what are these outdoor gyms entail? Like what, what can I go there and do if I were to go to Bayview or, or Legion Field? So it's kind of a more uh, futuristic workout, mm -hmm. I guess, you know, it's the sponge court. Uh, you remember those sand pits where you have like mm -hmm. the monkey bars and it's all free weights. So that's kind of the thing nowadays. Everybody wants to not be in the gym, but this will be outside and it's free. So you're using your body weight in order to build muscle and get into shape. So uh, you got anything from O-rings to doing uh, push-up sit-ups on there. There's seven workout stations. So along all those seven, you can work out pretty much almost every muscle in the body. 
So what is the, the, the process for this? You mentioned the three locations. Um, is there, obviously there's construction involved and then mm -hmm. you have um, to do the equipment. So do you have to get sponsors to help pay for these, uh, this construction and this equipment? Yes, actually, Larry has been um, committee for the fundraising team. Okay. Um, but yes, we do. We um, it's I guess private and public funded mm -hmm. um, since we are partnering with the city. Um, but we have gotten sponsors, and we still are looking for sponsors to raise money not only to um, have the the fitness courts installed, but to beautify it, to install um, fountains and benches and shade and lights. You know, um, all of those things that will. Okay. For the sponsor uh, so Larry, if somebody wants to sponsor, how do they go about doing that? Yeah, so uh, there's, you can, we're all over Facebook, so there's mm -hmm. Leap Into Pensacola, and uh, or Leap Into Fitness, sorry, and then uh, also you can find anything on there from, and there's different ranges from 500 to $5,000 sponsor level. Okay. So any of those levels will get you on the court. Uh, each court costs about 100000 to build. The wow. city's helping us a ton with that, so we, we don't have to come up with the majority of that, so we're very fortunate in that aspect, but... Um, Anything will help us um, from what Megan just talked about to kind of make put our spin on each court. Sure. Uh, well, to kind of give people an idea, you guys brought a video that we're going to go to before we go to commercial. But I really appreciate you all coming on and talking to us about LEAP and, and your project. But uh, that definitely, uh, here, here's a video that gives you a little bit more information uh, about the, the LEAP in the Fitness project. 